I still want EA on my Yenzo, been trying for months. <laughs> I mean, it kind of doesn't matter, to be honest. Yenzo has overwrite, so... It's not like you can add more strength debuffs, even if you have extra attack. He's still gonna, like, he's still gonna ha make the opponent only have minus 8 strength, even with extra attack. Yeah. How about he? He has a tanking metal. He, he is a tanking metal. He's a, he's a turtle metal. It's just the fact that he has overwrite, so it's like... EA won't won't affect his ability at all whatsoever. It'll just let you do more damage. That was that would be it for his ability. What do I think of the new world in JP? Um, I kind of make it a rule not to watch the JP translations and stuff, just because of the fact that I kind of want to keep it a surprise. On top of the fact that sometimes you know Square likes to change the text a little bit compared to what the translations are. So, yeah, I, I, I typically like to, uh, to just wait until it comes out to global. Um, I mean, I saw the picture of, uh, the little, like, station, game station or whatever that they're, at, that they're at. I thought it was interesting. Don't really know what the world is, but interesting nonetheless. Um, honestly, I just hope that they have, that they have a new Keyblade come out. With the release of the new world. That's all I'm all asking for. We just need a new we need new keyblades at this point, to be honest. Like we've been sitting at I think it's like what 15 keyblades for two years now, I think. One and a half years? I don't know. It's been a long time since we last got a new keyblade, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, which one should I do today? Alright guys, we're gonna take a vote. We're gonna take a vote as to which metal I should train. Hold on, let me put the, vote, the, the poll together. Okay, we got... Just a few more. Uh, I think it can only handle maybe one or two more. Um, about... Okay, well, let's do my tier nines first, I guess. Got you three. I think that's a good enough list. All right, all right. I need you guys to help me decide which metal I should drain. Okay, I have a poll up on the screen. It should also appear a pop. Uh, I can't speak. It should have also popped up on in the chat. But go ahead, type the number corresponding to the option 
Oh, you think? I should try and train next. Where's Pence? He's best metal. <laughs> no Pence today. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Uh, same here. I don't really watch the translations because I want to know the official terms rather than the used payment. Yeah, same here. Do a first, do a pull first so you can trade two medals. That's not how it works. You have to pull. What is it? Um, oh, it is one more pull. Oh yeah, you're right then. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do a pull first before I, I trace stuff then. Okay. So what do we have so far? So we see a lot of love for Marluxia. <laughs> Five votes for Marluxia, one vote for Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas. All right, okay. In that case, uh, let me let me do a pull first to unlock that extra slot, and then if there's no medals, if there's no like oh, amazing medal that just happens to pop up, well, uh, we'll do more of show. Okay, so I finished the pull. Let's do that pull real quick. As well as my Moogle pull for the day. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Oof. Oof. Okay, we're gonna do another pull. <laughs> Which banner I should do? I'm not sure. I could go for either one, honestly. I kind of need a Lee, to be honest, but like getting a Sora, a Monster Sora, or a Zeus, or Hades isn't a. Uh, I wouldn't complain. There's the poll. Which banner should I do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a few more seconds. For uh, I end the poll. You see, we seem to see, have a, a majority for Zeus so far. <clears throat> Zeus. Oh, is there supposed to be an E before the U? Whatever. Hey, what's up, Flash? Uh, oh. I think it was like Flazer. I think I think that was the way you asked me to pronounce it right. Kind of forgot. And Simon, how you doing? And Gabe. There one. I think that's all the new people. Are. I think so. Okay. All right. We're gonna end the poll. Finish the poll. We have a majority vote for the Zeus banner. So that's what we'll do. Wait. Hold on. Scroll up. Here we go. Let's see what I get. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> That works for me. Alright, 
let's change that poll. I am locked a training slot. Hell yeah, man. All right, <laughs> we need to redo that last pull before. Uh... All right, between Marluxia. That was the, the one people voted on the most. Oh wait, I can do both of them. It's not even a... It's not even a vote. I had I, I was about to do two medals and I have two training slots. Durr. I don't even need to do that. Okay. What happens if I put them there at the same time? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. All right, sure. All right, pretty good. You need, oh, I have to do both at the same time? Other ways? Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I did it at the same time. I kind of did just to see what happened, but good thing, good thing I did that. Okay, I have to wait. <clears throat> What's today, Friday? So I might be able to on Monday. Okay, we'll see. What's I gonna do next? I forgot what I was gonna do next. Oh, Brian's luck has been Thanos snapped. <laughs> yeah, the 2000, that's a... Uh, woo, that's a good number. I can start using that at uh, Coliseum. Actually, uh... I'm gonna do, let me do my dailies real quick. Shit, let me level up uh, Insane Ord as well. Who are you? Have I seen that they're adding a new world? I have, I have. Hey, what's up by the way, Golden Mustache? I saw it. I didn't want to watch the, the translations though, just because I like to keep it surprised. And sometimes they do like to change the wording of stuff um, in the official release. Awesome. Now let's just put a skill on him. Uh, six gauges, right? Okay. Okay. 
What do we have? Seven max gauge zero. There we go. Five max one. Six max gauge two. Seven max gauge zero. Seven max gauge one. Do you provide any gauges by chance? I don't think you do. You did not. Okay, so we'll give you the gauge one. Perfect. Now, do we still have the boards up for the... I don't think we do, do we? Oh, wait. No. Do we? Do we still have the boards up for, uh... Those medals? We do! Hehe. <laughs> I need to farm those from raid bosses and stuff first. Okay. Well, we found a good medal at least. Uh, what's your union? And is there room for me to join? Uh, I'm in Vulps. I believe we do have room to join. Um, if you send me your ID uh, number in discord i can take a look at your profile and i'll let you know if uh what's the wording you qualify to join there we go okay let me do my dailies real quick though Should be quick. I need to get started on grinding my, uh, my raid boss again. I haven't really touched it much this week. I kind of want to get back into just grinding Lux again. Now that there's the speed update, and it's been a long time since I've done it. Hey, Ryan, thank you so much for the follow. By the way, if anybody happens to have Amazon Twitch Prime, you are able to subscribe to the channel for free. It helps me out and you guys get access to whatever Twitch Prime perks are. <laughs> I, I don't know too much about it. I just know there's extra perks for Twitch Prime members. And then, I know though, at the very least on my end, uh, once I start adding like custom emotes, Twitch Prime members are, or subscribers are able to use those, I know that. Okay. Let's do this real quick. Rip, I didn't get the steal. This girl link and what are the qualifications? Um it it's it's more like a, an assessment of how strong you currently are in the game. Um based off your stats on your profile type of thing. If you want to think of it this way, think of your profile as kind of like your resume. I take a look at it and then I decide whether or not I think you're, you're strong enough to be able to be able to jump on board type of thing. Ah, oh, okay. Because I, I do own a top 10 like rating party. Um, so I have to make sure that like, I, I can't have like a beginner join for, for example. Because they, they won't be able to keep up. 
um, especially when I do have one of our like competitive raid weeks that uh, we decide to do. I tend to have like minimum lux requirements and stuff, and a beginner's not going to be able to keep up with that type of thing. Um, Discord link uh, should be in the commands. If you type in, I believe, exclamation point Discord, the link should pop up. Happened to me so much yesterday, no Steel 3. It happens, yeah. I only got the Steel 3 once on the, uh, the Heartless guy. Hopefully Nightbot is still working. Oh wait, I think I took it out of the... Uh, there we go. Wait, hold on, let me check. Maybe Nightbot's not w uh, currently working. Nightbot. Oh, yeah, Nightbot's not currently logged in. Why? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you already put... Oh, wait. Did I just type it wrong? I don't know why the Nightbot, I guess Nightbot's just down. Uh, okay, I'll just post the Discord link then. Oh, now, now it pops up, okay. Let me uh, go ahead and change the title of the stream to, to I thought I had it. The, the command for it. No, no, I have it. I have it in the title of the the stream. It's a uh, exclamation point commands. Uh, any commands you guys need are available right there. Okay. Uh, could you take a look at the top ten for me? I'm not in Vulps and want to see them numbers. Oh, it's usually it's usually a like a fuck tongue compared to anybody else. <laughs> right now, my uh my party's not not rating. We don't feel the need or motivation to f the raid for this competitive raid week. The rewards are kind of eh. Look. So right now, first place has... Three trillion lux. Okay. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Look, and 10th place has like about half. No, a little bit less than half of what first place has. It's, it's a lot. Like you, you legitimately need like a competitive, you need like top, top players in your party in order to like get up there. Wait, what am I missing? PvP? Okay, just PvP. Why are so many people in Vulps? Um, I guess Vulps is just kind of like the popular guild because of uh What's her name? Ava, because of Ava. Uh as well as you know, that's like that's like the party for the dandelions. Um, it's the competitive guild of the game as well. So, yeah. Oh, party as well. Uh, 
on. Let, let me do my dailies. I mean, if you, if you want to take a look at their stats, you could very easily just do it in game as well. Let me just take care of my dailies first. Wait, I got Rapunzel too, didn't I? Swear I got Rapunzel. Is she a six star? Oh, she was a six star. Okay. Okay. Oh, that should still be fine. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so curious. Now that my Marluxia has that plus 2,000 strength. Is he still worse than my Riku replica, who has extra attack? Come on. We're going on tracker. Starlight. Album, swords, unlockable. Usha. Let's just say that's the traits. Still, she still hasn't added nine max yet. Okay. Uh, what's the setup I have right now? Okay. Um, where are you? You. You. Right. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, just give me a sec. Hey, Flip Flops. Philip Flops. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, there it is. Calculate. Okay. So, with Marluxia. What are your pit traits? You don't have one. You don't matter. Also don't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't have to worry about this. And yeah, don't matter. Okay. <clears throat> so that does about 7.6 billion damage with Marluxia. And now if I use Riku Replica instead. Why didn't we grow up again? Oh, that's fine. Oh! Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I think that was using the highest. Uh, that was using the critical hit point. So, hold on. Let me put, put you back on. If I do Marluxia again. Why, why did you do seven in the last? That didn't make any sense. Where is my wish? We do minimum amount. Okay, okay. So, without the critical hit from Marluxia, Marluxia, the, the setup with Marluxia instead of Riku Replica is slightly worse than my Riku Replica. Actually, no, no, because Tracker doesn't have 9 max on it yet, so it should be just about the same, if not slightly better. So we will use uh, Marluxia for this. What the heck are you? Oh, that's why. 
There we go. Alright, alright, it should even out now. Oh, that was also another thing I was going to test. I was going to see, uh, instead of Sora, if I used... If I used Woody instead. Yeah, it is better. Okay. Just Woody. Woody instead, and in that case I can just do this as well. Yep. Yep. Much better setup. Go with that. I don't think I got any magic magic for stuff, did I? Yeah, no. I'm good. Cool beans. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. The reason why I didn't switch the spots of my Lightning and Sora beforehand um, was because of the fact that... Like, I know Lightning does more damage later in the setup and Sora does more damage earlier in the setup. However, because of the fact that Sora doesn't provide any upright debuffs at all, um, a damage condition is irrelevant. He's going to be doing less damage overall, regardless of where I put him. So I put the Lightning first. So it, I, I would the setup would actually be doing more damage if I put Lightning first and then Sora later, because of the fact Sora would have all upright buffs and debuffs. That's why I had lightning first, but because of the fact that Woody provides all of it for me as well, now I was able to put lightning later in the setup and Woody beforehand. Uh, okay. Hey, no, oh, I, <laughs> I just saw your comment saying to ignore it. No, no worries though. No worries. Oh, I forgot to change my outfit. Hey, welcome to the Discord, Gabe. Senna just made a tweet. I have a friend to keep what he focused on this weekend and haven't defeated the mighty titan yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me change my outfit real quick. There it is. This is the outfit I use whenever I have uh, Marluxia in my setup. Okay. <laughs> I'm to see these. There we go.
Rip the Dadashi hat? Wait, why? Oh, oh, you mean my previous outfit? Or a different outfit? Oh, does it really have crit 10? Hold on. Oh wow, it does. I did not realize that. <laughs> I look so much better now too. <laughs> Having a pile of ice cream in my head just doesn't look right. Thank you for, uh, for pointing that out. Wow, looking dunce. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. <laughs> it just stands out so much. It's like, why is he wearing that? Have you noticed any difference between no skill perks and wearing perks? Um, I, I mean, I've, I did research in the past that having the critical hit perk does increase the chances of, uh, of medals that do, you know, that have the critical hit ability. Uh, it does increase the chances of it happening. So what is it? It's like a 30% chance to do critical hit perk. So if I have a, I mean, of doing critical hit. So if I have a 25 critical hit perk, it will then turn into a, uh, I will have a 37.5% chance of landing a critical hit. Not much of a big, not much of a jump, but something. Pretty sure I lose here. Yeah, no, I lost. Everyone's starting to have like the monster stores at this point. Whereas when it first came out, I was like, okay, that's, that's not too bad. Everyone's starting to have them now. Not not too big of a deal though. But still, it's not like a huge dramatic drop in rankings or anything.
I pulled the new banner? Yeah, I pulled once on the new banner. Just just for a yellow. Um, as well as I was able to unlock an extra training slot by doing so. I'm, uh, I happened to get a, a Master's Aenort, which was pretty nice. Oops. Just barely lost. What's up, Smug Pup? When Sora first came out, I was like... <laughs> I mean, to be honest, um, from the very get-go, I always believed there should have been uh, medals in the game anyways that could bypass defense, and, but I believe they should have been the fixed damage medals, should have been those type of medals. Um, you know, like Illustrated Orin, Man in Black, Incredibles 2 Family, Kingdom Hearts 2, Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2, Kyrie, you know, those type of medals that do fixed amount of damage. I believe those should have been the medals that can bypass enemy defense and skills, okay? Um, it would have added more, a little bit slightly more strategy as well as, uh, how do you worry, um, balance to the game. Now everybody gotta watch out for Zeus now as well. Yeah, kinda. <clears throat> That was all. I think that was all my PvP tries, was it? Yeah, that was all my PvP tries. All right. Now. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Does the Hasbro Challenge use up uh, AP? It does. Okay, cool. I was about to do the, use the rest of my AP to uh, to farm event coins real quick, but glad I didn't. What are the uh, things? Oh. Okay. Not too bad. Um, I don't have very many of those. Luckily, I just pulled one of them now, too. Uh, okay. Score. Okay. Alright. I only have... Four medals with the boost. I think Stroke of Midnight is looking to be my Keyblade. Oh, there you are. Uh, let's put your scoops to there. Wait, do you have overwrite? Oh shit, I do have overwrite. Let's really just swap you real quick. Hmm. Well, I could do this. I guess it's not a big deal because I think you provide a uh, power. Yeah, yeah, you, you do it for me anyway, so it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, that works out. And you still have your ridiculous booster. Um, do I have... I didn't think about it, I could have just gotten the trait metal. As well, I'll put you there for now. <clears throat> I did a mercy, got shafted hard, got Hades, though. At least Hades is pretty good, partly in the spirit slot, and Sora in the um. But then what, what, what would I put in the, uh, the magic slot? I don't really have... I would rather... I would rather... 
would rather have it this way. <laughs> um, I get more damage medals out of the whole thing. And we got 89% score, which isn't too bad. I'm surprised that Thorin Chippendale has such a high percentage. Pretty good. My, is this okay? Yeah, it's still shared. Okay, cool. Twenty-six percent. Where does that is? Okay, cool. That works out. Uh, and what friend medals can I use? Shepherd jerks and extra attack. Okay, so that's definitely a candidate. Might be the only candidate. Ooh, what you got? Okay, it's worth considering. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> he has so many raid traits, it's ridiculous. Okay, yeah, I think this is good. I love your laugh, by the way. Oh, thank you. Alright, so what are my main damage uh, attributes? We have... I guess mostly power. Put it down a little bit. Uh, how many hits? Sephiroth does one hit. Xehanort does four hits. Marley does one hit. And my friend Metal does three hits. Okay, so. Yeah, I guess speed would be the route we want to take. Because then at least we do neutral damage with Marluxia, and then we do double damage with Xehanort and uh, my Sephiroth. No! Yeah, I gotta slow this down. I feel like that would kill him. I didn't actually check what the the scores were for prizes. We can, we can have it slightly faster, as long as I have the auto out. The auto off should be fine. Um, swipe. Should I do it here? No, it's not yet. Um, I can try Marusha, one of these. Awesome. I wasn't sure if that was gonna kill him or not. I ran sp <coughs> Oh. Uh, I ran past so many enemies with the field speed. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, tone it down a little bit. Uh, don't mean to be annoying, which I probably am, but after doing this, uh, where do I send my ID to? Uh, just private message me it. Either that, or you can, uh, you can post a picture of it somewhere in, like, maybe the, uh, the Help and Strategies channel and ping me. One of the two. You can either DM me or just post it in the channel. And you're not, you're not being annoying, by the way. I don't mind the questions. Marley is only a single hitter. You can use him fine. Now I can start going more all out.
I don't know how many rooms there are. I don't know if this is the last room or not. Uh, it says I don't have access? Did you... Did you read the rules? Uh, and click on the reaction emote to gain access to the server? Yeah, the rewards are kind of meh. The last Hasker Challenge had much better rewards. From what I can recall, anyways. No, no, you're good. You're good, Gabe. I love the animation for uh, Rapunzel. Okay, yeah. Is this the final room? I don't know where the when the final rooms are. I want to say this is the final room, though, because of all the huge people. We're going to treat it. Okay, hold on. Don't you? Yeah, you do. I think I should be able to kill him this turn. I feel like that I send you advice and then after I sent the message I realize I'm completely wrong my <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about it too much, Falza. I understand the... You have good intentions, okay? <laughs> You do? Okay, I wasn't... And had combo one. Okay, that was pretty nice. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to kill him this turn or not. Just barely able to. Perfect. Yeah, I guess why not. Uh, I didn't mean to recommend it. Okay, cool. I will take a look at it uh, sometime after the stream though, when I get the chance. I don't know. Okay, so apparently I didn't get the the highest scores I needed. You close the door. 
Just want to do one high square turns. You simply need high damage output. You need high damage output. You need the assist percentage medals. Um, but it's not just about high damage output. You want to try and use medals that have the fewest hits possible. Just because that would give you more points. Um, so like a one hit medal. Let's say let's say you have two medals that deal the exact same amount of damage, have the same ability, same multiplier, every, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is that one does more hits than the other. The one that does the less amount of hits is going to get more points compared to the one that does more hits. So you want to try and have medals with less hits as possible. So medals like a uh, Sephiroth, Fantastic Four, Marluxia, if it was, oh, actually, I know what I can do. Actually, wait, there aren't, that's, I guess that's not really relevant, is it? I was about to say I could use my nominate EX plus, but there's not very many uh, grouped up enemies in this, so it wouldn't really matter. Um, but yeah, Marluxia is pretty good for it as well. Yeah, turtling is not the way to go. I mean, you could turtle, but you won't get very high in terms of points. Because you get points based on how much damage you can do per hit. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Can you show the traits? The traits of what? Oh, I was about to say, like, where's my phone? I don't realize I'm using it. Uh, QR20. So, they have air, ground, double strength, and extra attack. That's what my friend's metal has. And they have 9 max engage 2 on it as well. Hmm. Oh, oh, that felt great. Oh, okay, let's try another run. Okay, the auto's off. Strength, right? Are you ready? Strength, okay. This is gonna kill him. 
did not kill him. I feel like this is gonna kill him, though. I'm trying to kill him with my Sephiroth if possible. That's what I meant to do. I was gonna look up the the scores needed to get the prizes, and I forgot. So I have to take a look at that. Okay, so I think this should be fine. Okay, so we'll try and kill him with my Marluxia. Up. There we go. Cool beans! Is this the big shield one? It is, okay. We can kill him this turn. Yeah, we can definitely kill him this turn. Let's tap on you. We'll use you. There we go. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I probably should have used Master A's in real quick so I can get my uh, reverse boss and deal boss. I'm like, wait, no, I already used Marluxia, so I'm fine on that. Okay, so for this. All th no, okay. Xehanor and 20 provide the, uh, the guilt boost.
Oh man. I got a less score this time. Rip. Okay. Well, I guess I could try and figure that out. Finagle that somehow in my spare time. Um. All the tier 9 medals were the ones with the highest assist percentage, right? Uh, Zeus, Xehanort, Guardform Sora, Marluxia, Guard 20, and Hades, yeah. All the tier 9 ones. Um, don't really have a way to significantly increase my score. Unless you happen to have a VIP medal, which is what we're not really looking to try and do that. Actually, wait. Yeah, you provide twenty three percent. You're the only one that provides what? What is it? Sixteen? Nineteen? Uh, fourteen. You provide fourteen percent. Yeah, the only thing I could actually do to improve this would be if I had a trait medal for one of the uh, tier 9 medals in my pet slot. However, if I do that, I won't have enough damage <laughs> to actually kill the, the people in the last room. Actually, can you turn on them? Maybe, uh, let's take out Rapunzel and let's put in Yenzo. Let's see how that does. Because if you can turtle them, then I can start focusing on using, like, the strong metals more often. I don't have to use my whole setup. Where the heck are you? Oh, there we are. I think you provide it against magic? Yeah, magic. Mini is the one that does it against uh, speed. Yeah, Mini, Mini would actually be pretty good against the speed route right now. Those VIP medals overwrite anyways. Yeah. I mean, they do. Um, I mean, Mini's literally just a, a magic version of Yenzo. It's, they're the exact same metal. Uh, Mini is only technically slightly better than Yenzo, specifically because I think Mini has zero gauges for the ability cost, for the gauge cost, compared to Yenzo, which is at what, like six, five or six? Four words. Oh, oh, okay, so it's for placement that you get the, the tickets and the gems, okay. What about this? Six max, five max, four max, okay, that's not... Uh, rewards. Oh, okay. So I got most... If I hit seven, 70 mil... I get five, okay, that's not a big deal then. Uh, rankings... Rewards... Not the, uh... Not the greatest rewards in the world. I mean, to be honest, the only thing that's actually, like... Worth it are the moon gems, to be honest. Yeah, the moon gems are really the only thing that are kind of like actual value in terms of rewards. But I mean, hey, it's it's free stuff, so I'm not complaining. Kinda, <laughs> kinda. It's like it could have been slightly better, but it's not too bad. 
I feel like high score challenges are more for like for fun now than they are for like competition like they used to be. Like you legitimately had to be like good score to get the good stuff, which is worth the medals at the time. Um, 70 mil is extremely hard to get. I would imagine. I'm willing to bet you you literally need a setup full of the tier 9 medals in order to get 70 mil or something. Hey, Ice, to meet you. What's up? Hey, Brian, I got a question to you. Oh, wait, we got a question. Do you feel that the game should relax with the health of some of the events? Um, I'm, I'm assuming you mean, like, the, the HP of enemies. Um, as far as I'm concerned... Well, okay, can you can maybe specify which particular events you have in mind? Because it sounds like you have... When you're asking me that question, it sounds like you have some certain events you're, you're you're thinking of when you ask that because in a generalistic sense for the most part in the game hp of enemies seem to be fine if anything hp of enemies seem to be slightly low at times um but in general they seem to be fine there are a few events every once in a while that I'm just like, okay, that's a little, a little insane. Um, yeah. Is there, is there any particular events you had in mind when you asked that? I mean, yes and no, definitely ain't beginner friendly. Yeah, kind of want Freddy dose this in. Um, there needs to be more events in the game that gear towards Intermediate players, I guess you could say. I see a lot of people don't like event like Hades Chasm. Okay, so okay, in that case, uh, in terms of Hades Cup, the Hades Cup, in my opinion, is actually pretty pretty good. Okay, pretty well done. Um, the HP isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, it's pretty fair to be honest. I f do feel like they should make s maybe Sephiroth slightly easier or at least easier to understand <laughs> if that makes sense because his slash attacks do seem to react at certain hp thresholds but it's kind of hard to determine what they are um i'm pretty confident it's not rng at all whatsoever that he has a legitimate attack pattern it's just a matter of finding out the attack pattern uh if it, if it was just a little bit more understandable what the attack pattern is that would help out players a lot uh i already got people commenting on my Sephiroth video saying how <laughs> how useful and how much they appreciated my video compared to other people's Sephiroth videos because mine apparently was way more detailed and stuff um which all right more power to them right is good for them I guess uh the HP is a little bit kind of intense though for Sephiroth with his crazy attack pattern <laughs> so but for the rest of the hades cup to be it's not that bad uh as long as you're using like kingdom Hearts three metals you know meow wow evolvable metals basically you should more or less be fine um i know that the uh that's not the hades cup hey red ranger thank you so much for the host that's not the hades cup Where's the Hades Cup? Hades Cup. Okay. That's Sephiroth. Um, I know some people are having trouble, I think it's with these guys, uh, with counters. That just, there's only so much you can do with counters. That doesn't really have so much to do with HP. I mean, to be honest, these guys are pretty, aren't too bad. Once you, I mean, like these guys, it's mostly just having metals that can bypass or add counters or reset counters, manipulating counters. Um, I haven't really gone too much about these two because I kind of just cheesed through them pretty easily. Uh, I know a lot of people are having problems with Hades though. I still have yet to actually go back and like look at them properly so I can make potentially make a guide video on them. Um, your JP stuck on Hades. But yeah, overall in terms of HP, it's not too big of an issue. In terms of Chasm of Challenges though, uh, Chasm of Challenges is supposed to be 
difficult okay like that's that's kind of the whole gimmick about the chasm of challenges it's supposed to be that like it's it's a permanent quest first of all so it's supposed to be the type of thing that like oh hey i'm not strong strong enough now let me come back at a later date when i feel like i've gotten stronger and give it a go again okay that's what the chasm of challenges is supposed to be okay now where the chasm of challenges fails in my opinion is that when the chasm of challenges first came out and like they first announced it um they had mentioned in the in the description that you could be able to potentially earn medals and stuff like like uh like exclusive medals only available from the chasm of challenges which is exactly what i wanted to happen because that a makes it more fun um and b um gives people more of a reason to actually want to do the chasm of challenges because realistically what's the point of doing chasm of challenges just to only earn <laughs> a chippendale medal a Huey Dewey Louie, a Sid, uh, a Sid medal. Like it's like the val like the rewards for doing the Chasm of Challenges do not add up to the difficulty that they provide. It like it's it's the difference is horrendous in my opinion uh, between the two. So I believe that they want to continue making the Chasm of Challenges a thing. They need to make they need to give rewards in here. They're actually like oh wow, <laughs> that make people actually truly want to do the Chasm of Challenges. Um, yeah, guys, I'm a chat. Chasm cheese grind was real, very good game, but yeah, in terms of chasm challenges, in my opinion, it's completely, completely fine if the chasm challenges has super high HP opponents and stuff like that, just because it's supposed to be hard and it's supposed to be that type of event that, that you like can come back at a later date to try again, type of thing, okay. Uh, if it's a, like a limited time event, such as like the Hades Cup, for example, then I can, then it's a little bit more acceptable. If you think the HP is a little bit too high, kind of like with Sephiroth, like I said before. Um, yeah, but for the most part, I feel like in general between the two events, they're they're more or less fine the way they are. Maybe do what they did with FFRK Warrior of Light. Not even. I, I'm assuming you're talking about the return of the FFRK events, uh, Red Ranger. Where, like, was that High School Challenge? I don't remember if it was the High School Challenge or not. There was some event. I don't think it was a High School It was an event where, like, uh, if you beat the objectives, you got the FFRK Warrior of Light medal. The six star medal. Was it six star? I think it was six star. You get the medal for Warrior of Light again. Um,. But Warrior Light was already comp like super outdated as a reward in that. And I remember that quest was like really hard to do, even for like top veteran players. That was a really hard quest to do, which was completely ridiculous in my opinion. Um, if you're going to be giving an outdated medal as a prize for a completely ridiculous hard event, it, like, like that that's kind of like one of the major issues that I see that they tend to have with the game is that they're always on once like it's either they have a super hard event that gives like completely pointless rewards or B they have a uh, which makes you not want to do the event in the first place um, because the rewards just don't add up to the effort involved to in trying to beat it uh, or B they have super easy event with equally worthless rewards, which aren't as bad because it's more meant for beginners to try and, you know, get up to snuff better. Um, let's see. I got out of bed. <laughs> What's up, Keeper? How are you doing? It was a three quest thing, and the last one gave you a six star one. Yeah, see. But. Personally, like, in my opinion, what they should make the Chasm of Challenges is they should, like, to me, the, what they're making the Chasm of Challenges is just is stupid. Uh, what they should be doing with the Chasm of Challenges is they, they could literally be making all of the, uh, they could just make it so, like, each quest is a 
is a battle against all of the most well-known characters in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, for example, okay? So imagine, imagine stage one, fight against Sephiroth, okay? If you beat him, you get an exclusive Sephiroth medal, okay? Only obtainable via the Chasma challenges. Um, it can be decent, it's not meta-breaking. Um, you obviously, you, you would have to at least be a competent intermediate player in order to, at minimum, <laughs> potentially beat the quest, but like the custom challenges would be a, a like the area that veteran players can go and beat these stages. And when they do, they get a decent medal they can actually use within their setups at the time, uh, type of thing. They uh, and if even if they end up being meta, they're not like they're not game breaking meta. They're like if they're meta, they're like. They're like decent meta, or like you know, they're barely in the metal type of thing. Um, that's what the that's what the metal should be in the Chasm challenges as a reward. So it'd be like stage one Sephiroth, I don't know, stage two Hercules, Yuffie or Cloud or something. Like they 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 add in enemies that are actually you know cool to fight against and make like make you reminisce about the Kingdom Hearts franchise and stuff. And it's like each one offers a meta. A medal as a reward corresponding to the enemy that you're fighting kind of like how the organization 13 uh events have been for the past year where like if you beat roxas you got the roxas medal if you beat damix you got the damix medal something like that it should have literally been that but the but hard difficulty for Kazuma challenges like that that would be great in my opinion um each quest gave 500 medals, a gem, and exclusive medal. Yeah, like that right there, Red Ranger, would be fantastic. It's not the most broken thing in the world either, because the only people who, can, who should only really be able to beat the event in the first place are, are veteran players. Uh, it rewards veteran players for being veteran players. Uh, on top of the fact that like 500 jewels isn't exactly the greatest amount in the world. So, it people will be doing it mainly for a... Hey, Gabe, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Uh, what was I about to say? It won't be the most broken thing in the world. People will be doing it mostly for, you know, the, the nostalgia of the fights on top of for the exclusive metal, potentially, uh, depending on what it does. So they could be doing so much with the Chasm of Challenges, but they just kind of ruin it. <laughs> oh my God. Gabe, thank you so much for the 45 bits. Maybe do an illustrated heartless. Yeah, just, you know, do something to make it actually interesting. Because as of right now, the Chasm of Challengers is not interesting in the slightest bit. Um, I, I realized they added the Chasm Challenges at the request of people wanting harder uh, events. Okay, harder or, you know, a permanent difficult quest. But what I think they failed to realize is that just having a difficult quest isn't interesting in the slightest. There needs to be a reason for it for, <laughs> for people to want to do it on top of being difficult, okay? Uh, like, so like naming the veteran players. Then the veteran players want the quest to be difficult, but also entertaining to do at the same time. So, and that's what I think they failed to, that, and I believe that was what, what was kind of implied when the community kind of asked that, but I guess the devs just didn't understand that, or maybe, I don't know, for all I, for all I know, maybe Glacey didn't like imply that correctly or convey that correctly to the devs or something, I don't know. Um, man was feeling so frustrated and not being able to beat Sephiroth and then not being able to get through the high score challenge. I was seriously thinking of buying those meowwows to make hot dude into super hot dude. Oh no, yeah. By the way, don't buy the uh, don't buy the meowwow board. Was it a board? I think it's a board. Yeah, this. Don't buy this. For the amount of jewels it's asking you for just three meowwows, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. It's so bad. It really is so bad. Don't buy this. Um, but I know that I want to be able to get enough for me. Uh, no, just because when I get my plats again. Oh. I feel good. I, I understand the sentiment, Keeper. We've all been there. Don't worry. It, 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 the, the, it's it's going to happen, Keeper. Don't worry about it. It's happened to everybody. 
Uh, I want moon gem quests like the sun gem quests we had since forever. That is a good point, Freddy Dose. There should be moon gem quests. I'm talking about. I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the the permanent sun gem quest that we have. Uh, yeah, these ones, the like the proud plus quest. There should be moon, like a moon gem. What's the word? Um, I don't know. Equal. Moon gem equivalent. Equivalent. That's the word. A moon gem equivalent of these type of quests. One jewel per meow wow. Yeah, no, it's it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> Late April Fool's joke. <laughs> Cue the uh, what's it called? Uh, Diablo Immortals <laughs> meme. <laughs> yeah, it's only three. But yeah, there, there there's they get a very I don't know. Talking about kind of makes me just want to message Clacy and maybe she can convey it to them or something. I don't know. Uh, what is it? 315. Okay. I will... I did all my dailies, right? I did. Okay. All right. So I'm going to... I'll stay on for just a few more minutes, but then I have to get off uh, for the day, guys. Okay. Oh no, actually I wanna use uh I wanna use my Lucia. I'm not Lucia, the the Xehanort my friend has instead. Uh are we still able to send you our box? What do you mean our box? What what do you mean by that? I thought it was weird that it didn't completely Oh, have complimentary moon gem quests? I figured they were in the works to be released at some later date. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they just never thought of it. Because moon gems have been out for, what, at least a year now at this point? They do a terrible job of trying to keep the game uh, up to date in terms of, like, the rest of the meta. Where's the... Is it this one? I think it's Shanda. It is. <laughs> let's use this. Uh, let's see. Our metal list for help. Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean your metal list for help? Uh, what's that done goofs again? Oh, <laughs> I've been seeing that meme everywhere. Hey, Gabe, thank you so much for the... 1050 bits appreciate it oh tracker um you mean okay so you mean like to put together setups and stuff uh I, I honestly to be honest unless it's in a stream where i can show my screen which i won't be able to do until i get a new computer um I can't really I can't really help with setups anymore on stream until I can get a new computer uh, because as it as it is right now with my current laptop my computer tends to crash every time I try to like stream my my computer screen for some reason don't know why it happens it just happens so I can't really do that anymore uh, on top of the fact that because of how busy I am I, I, I don't really have time to make the uh, the Kingdom Key videos anymore, at least at this point in time. Maybe maybe sometime in the like maybe sometime in the future once like everything I'm doing actually starts generating more revenue where I can actually start focusing on <laughs> these things uh, on a daily basis more often, I could probably do that. Uh, but as of right now, I'm I'm already kind of juggling. I'm still kind of juggling with trying to get my uh, my article writers up to snuff. Uh, I'm still training them to uh, help write our metal analysis articles. Uh, I currently have like four metal analysis articles I need to review. Um, and 
take a look at in, in terms of whether or not they are okay for publishing or if I need to point out stuff for them for my writers to uh to fix and stuff so as of right now like i'm trying i'm just trying to get everything still working in terms of revenue because right now i get paid absolute shit and if i don't see any sort of significant increase in everything that's happening right now i'm most likely going to end up having to uh look for a full-time job sometime these next few months at which point, once that happens, if that happens, uh, I obviously would have less time to do even just normal videos. So, yeah. That's that's kind of the reason why I'm, I'm streaming my Kingdom Hearts stuff on Twitch again, because I, uh, I want to get my Twitch up and running. So it's like, even though it feels bad having to bring everything back on Twitch, um, if it means getting subscribers, uh in order to help me get paid sooner and faster because i don't even get paid on twitch unless you meet a minimum amount threshold so that's kind of why <laughs> i'm doing it on twitch and stuff so it's, it's everything is kind of revolving around my financial situation at the moment and the fact that i'm already juggling like 20 different things at once so yeah so yeah if anybody happens to have amazon twitch prime you can subscribe to the channel for free it would really help out. I would appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Definitely just slog through PvP for plat tickets until RNG drops them. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Keep the good work, man. I'm sure it would make it happen. Hey, appreciate it, Freddy Dose. Thank you. Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna probably do like one or two more raid bosses and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to jump off for the day. Hey, Smugpod, thank you so much for the subscribe. What is it? Yes, with Amazon Twitch Prime. Appreciate it, my man. My husband used my Amazon Prime for his Twitch. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Ah, I'm too poor to sub, Brian. I use all my money on VAP. No worries, Red Ranger. I appreciate the thought question is is it optional to have defense boost max on zero gauge metals or second chance on them uh it is completely irrelevant because it depends on what type of metal it is in the first place Shadowbringer. um you want to use defense boost max okay so in terms of getting the most value out of your skills you too i believe i even made actually i believe i made a I believe I made a chart on this forever ago. Let me see if I can find it. And so I can put it up on the screen. Actually, wait, cancel that. Uh, image. Let me see if I can find this. Uh, don't know where I would have put it though. I wanna say. Yeah, maybe. Set of guides. Oh, skill guide. I think this is it. So here's an old image I made forever ago. Okay. Um, in terms of what types of skills go on what types of metals, typically, to get the most value out of your skills and stuff. Uh, so there's three main types of metals. Utility, main buffer, debuffer metals, or otherwise known as like, you know, utility. This is for PvP, by the way, specifically for PvP. Um, turtling, you want defense boost. For damage, you want attack boost, okay? And then there are like subtypes, okay? So like, if you, you could have like a damage metal, all right? Uh, and if the damage metal happens to you want you want to choose this the the colors that correspond to it so like if you happen to have a damage metal who also happens to be a this who, who also happens to have a dispel effect um because of the fact that the spell effect can either have attack boost defense boost or status ailment depending on the, the main type of metal the spell effect has attack boost damage metals have attack boost so you want to use attack boost on on a dis damaging dispel metal or a turtling metal 
Uh, and I should probably maybe slightly edit this picture so I can be a little bit more uh, clear. Oh, it does say, use the matching skills according to their metal types. Yeah. Okay, so turtle. So since turtling would re normally recommend defense boost, if the turtle must metal happens to be a SP restoration fixed damage metal, which because the, they share a defense boost, you want his defense boost, okay? Um, it, yeah, it just kind of depends. Now, there are times when you have like a... What What if you have a metal that is multiple main types? So what if you have like a... A main buffer debuffer metal and a damage metal combined, kind of like with uh, Master Xehanort, Kingdom Hearts 3 Master Xehanort, the one I just pulled today. Okay, it would count as both a damage metal and a main buffer debuffer metal, in which case you could potentially run either damage or status ailment according to this chart. Well, on the subtype, okay, it doesn't cure status, it doesn't cure status ailment, so that's crossed off, it doesn't restore gauges or fixed damage so that's crossed off and it doesn't have dispel so that's also crossed off okay so the subtypes don't apply to master xehanort in which case you would then choose the uh the type of skill corresponding to what you're thinking you're most likely going to be using the metal for so you're most likely going to be using master xehanort for damage there we go for damage so in that case, you want to put the attack boost skill on them instead. So that was an old chart I put together forever ago. Might update it. I don't know. We'll see. But that was exclusively for PvP. Uh, in terms of the game in general, okay, it's kind of similar train of thought, uh, except less complicated. Um, so back to like I was showing in the chart. There's three types of mains and metals. There's utility metals, aka buffer to buffer metals, turtle metals, and damage metals. In terms of Gain the most bang for your buck in general as a whole. As a whole, you typically want defense. Oh, actually, as yeah, as a whole, you basically just want to follow uh, what's everything on the left side, except instead of having status ailment skills on your on your utility medals, have second chance on your utility medals instead. Okay, that's basically what you want to try and have as a whole. So, damage skills on your damage metals, defense skills on your turtle metals, second chance on your utility metals. Not without thinking about PvP in mind. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, a good example of a utility metal are metals that uh, provide a bunch of buffs and debuffs, but don't really do a lot of damage. So, such as, for example. Kingdom Hearts 3 Kairi. Kingdom Hearts 3 Kairi is one of the best utility medals currently available in the game. Um, so, and you're, if you have her, you're most likely going to be using her on almost every single setup you have ever <laughs> until they release the next Kairi medal, uh, in which case you're going to want second chance on her because you're going to have her on every single set setup. Uh, she's not there for damage, so having an attack boost skill doesn't do anything for her. Uh, you're not trying to turtle with her either because she doesn't do turtling, so that's kind of pointless to put a defense skill on her. Um, and there's no real point to doing status ailments outside of PvP, so that's kind of pointless as well. Uh, so on top of only making most log logical sense to have a second chance on her in the first place, um, because every other option is kind of crossed out, but she just it just gains you the most value because of the fact that in the events uh that are difficult and you're probably gonna die for them at the very least you know she has second chance you don't have to worry about it you don't have to worry about trying to finagle second chance onto a different metal and, and like changing up your setup stuff like that so yeah that's it um also you should add some emotes soon yeah i probably should add some emo emotes soon i don't know what they would be um i don't i mean I, i'm not if if I do add emotes, they would be cust uh they would be emotes that I would make or, or submit and stuff just because of the fact that I'm not looking to pay anybody to make custom emotes. Um at least not anytime soon. Like I said before, I'm already <laughs> I don't make a lot of money in the first place, so I'm not I'm not looking to pay anybody anything. I I, I make my own thumbnails and stuff anyways on my own. Uh even my uh Twitch banners down below 
uh, if you happen to be on PC. The Twitch banners, I made those on my own, so everything I just kind of make on my own. Would be awesome if you had the time, if you made instructional videos with basic info like this. Yeah, no, that's actually going to be the plan, Keeper. I was actually thinking about... E oh no, okay, so today I actually have a different video I'm looking to come up for today. Uh, in regards to critical mode, I was gonna kind of give, I was gonna make a uh, Kinemus three update video uh, in regard to Tai Yasui, because um, I actually watched his interview where he actually talks about the developments on critical mode at the moment. Uh, so I, I was gonna make a video today going over that and letting people know about that. I know, I know a lot of people already kind of know about it, but I just wanted to make it anyways because I, I want to get into starting to give update videos on Kingdom Hearts in general as well, not just for Union Cross. Um, but once I do that video today, um, if I don't work on today, tomorrow, I was definitely starting to plan to uh, create the beginner videos for sure. Probably starting with Overwrite. Um, basically making a video like, what is Overwrite? And how to identify when it, when, and how to identify it. I'll be making a video like that because I already suggested it to Glacy. I already told her that like, hey, I get tons of reports from people saying they have no idea when a metal has overwrite and what it does. So I'm gonna make a video for that. It's gonna be a beginner video. Uh, top of the fact that I still need to plan it out on paper, but I'm gonna make a beginner video going over the basic concepts you need to understand. Then once I finish that, uh, such as, you know, buffs and debuffs, like, what is a buff? What is a debuff? Which are the most important buffs and debuffs and stuff like that? Uh, simple stuff. And then after that, once that one, I'm, I have to get that one out of the way first before I can make a video talking about how to make a proper setup in general. Um, so yeah, no, I, I have them all in my head in terms of the beginner videos I want to make. It's just a matter of like, A, I already have 20 other things, like I said before, <laughs> I'm working on. The, I have to kind of juggle and be um i have to like do stuff in a certain order so yeah it's just a lot <laughs> let's see uh brian i just realized wreck it ralph is in K kh right sonic world is sore and smash because it's connected <laughs> that's true they could add wreck it ralph they could add the summons couldn't they as kingdom hearts theme models couldn't that's interesting uh, let's see. Overwrite is super important to teach noobs about. They don't even hint that's a thing in the game. Yeah, that, that was part of the problem that I messaged Glacia about. Like, they just have it in, they just have it in the description. But it's like, it's, it's like, it's such a subtle difference in the text and the description. It's like, why? It's not even, like, no one's gonna, like, no one just picking up the game is gonna see that and be like, oh, that has Overwrite. You don't even know what Overwrite is in the first place. It's just like... Oh, that's cool. Uh, you didn't see the new story update? I did not. Um, uh, I don't, I don't watch the, the translations of the updates. I just hear about them. Things on Twitter and stuff like that. But I don't watch them just because I want to, uh, I want to be surprised when I when the official version comes out in global on top of the fact that uh sometimes they do change terms and stuff in the official translations so i'd rather just wait for those but yeah uh other than that i'm the record ralph world is in jp oh is that what it is oh so that is the record ralph world. okay okay I knew it was like a game station. I'm like, I don't know, what the heck is this? That makes so much more sense now that it is record love. Okay, but other than that, uh, I need to get off for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who follow and subscribe today. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm probably gonna be uploading this, uh, this stream onto YouTube later on. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you guys sometime later. So, wish everyone a great day. Let me uh, figure out how to get this. this. Where is it? There it is. All right. Peace, guys.